Hi everyone, Rachel here. Today's video will be a very quick short review of what I received in my Etude House Pink Bird Box of February 2015. As per usual, the links to this corresponding blog post with better photos of the products as well as links to the items will be below in the description, so please click read more. Let's get started on the review. As many of you may all know if you've been watching my videos for some time or you just read my blog post, I am an Etude House Pinkbird blogger. Typically, I just do blog post reviews of the boxes I get. Since this month's box is one of my all-time favorites, I decided to make a video just to show you guys what is inside of it. The collection that I will be introducing to you guys is Etude House's newest chocolate collection. The chocolate collection is a limited edition collection specifically for Valentine's Day 2015. Although Valentine's Day has already passed, it's never too late to get your hands on these scrumptious looking makeup goodies. The first item in the box is a Tude House's Best Precious Mineral Any Cushion Series. I have reviewed this product many times in different packaging, but hands down this is one of the best BB creams I've ever used. I love its compact design which also includes a mirror, an application pad, as well as a plastic seal to kind of keep in all the moisture from the BB cream. In addition, the BB cream is soaked in kind of a spongy texture. The sponginess ensures that every time that you press down to dab some onto your applicator pad, you'll have a lot and a little bit does indeed go a long way. The next products in their new collection is a new series of nail polish called Give Me Chocolate. These chocolate nails come in three colors. The first is a cherry ganache, which is a brown with a reddish hue. Mint Choco Chip. This color is pretty self-explanatory. It is a mint base with lots of sparkles that resemble chocolate chips. The last color is Milk Cocoa. Essentially, it just looks like milk chocolate. To play along with the theme of these chocolate colored nails, I have done a ice cream inspired nail design, which is a mint chocolate chip with a chocolate drizzle. Aside from just being very cute and chocolatey, what made me really fall in love with this product is the fact that this nail polish actually smells like chocolate. It's more like a caffeine espresso-y smell, but regardless, anything that doesn't smell like regular nail polish and has just a little bit of chocolate essence in it is amazeballs! The last two items, which are also the ones I was the most excited to share in this review, are these new eyeshadow palettes. Upon opening it, you actually discover that the palette is shaped like a chocolate bar. I repeat, it is shaped like a chocolate bar. A Hershey's chocolate bar or whatever chocolate company you may prefer, but regardless, it looks like a chocolate bar. The only difference between these two products is that the browns are a little bit different. The cherry truffle has more of a pinkish undertone, whereas the cocoa fudge is more of a dark brown. In addition to that, the cocoa fudge is also a little bit more shimmer than the cherry truffle as it is paired with a gold eyeshadow. I hope you guys enjoyed this very short Etude House review. If you'd like to see more Pink Bird unboxing videos, please click the thumbs up button. Until next time, be sure to follow me on my other social media as well as check out the links in the description with all the products, blog posts, and all that good stuff. Amazeballs!